Good morning for this Wednesday, March 4th. And as you can see, the market has gapped lower, right? It gapped lower and it's moved quite a bit lower today. So this is where it closed on Tuesday. This is where it opened today. We're looking at the Dow futures, the mini Dow futures, the YM contract right up in here. All right. The market's made a nice move to the downside. The market is definitely consolidating right in here. And I believe that we're going to pop up and move higher. How much higher? I'm not exactly sure, but what I want to do is I want to draw the fib lines from today's high to low. And I expect the market to come back close to close to the 38.2% retracement. So again, I measured from high down to the low of the day. And this is the 38% retracement, which is a retest pretty much of this high here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to take profits, or at least partial profits, slightly below that level. Slightly below this high, and slightly below the 38.2% retracement. I am long the market right in here. So let me put another horizontal line exactly where I'm long, right there. Okay, so so you can visually see what our first objective is, right? The first objective is the difference between the two white horizontal lines. Now you might ask, well, what's my risk on the trade? Well, my risk on the trade is just a couple ticks below the low of the day, right down in here, right where this line is. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. And let's see what happens. Okay, folks, take a look at this. Market did exactly what we thought it would do. Relatively quick. I didn't think it would happen this this quick, but it has. So I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take off four of these because this is this is quick and this is nice. Uh, market. We're gonna sell four right there. And something mm -hmm. is yeah. lagged. There we go. So what we did was we locked in three hundred dollars. Again, a small position, very quick. It's not. It's just a little over ten thirty. That means I've got one position left. Right. So let's move this down to one left. And let's see, so that basically nailed our objective, or maybe missed it by a tick. Let's see, we were looking at roughly 1860, 1855, not bad. Nice trade, still got one contract left. We've got an open position of, let's see, 90 on this. So I'm gonna watch this and look to flatten this out quick. I just want to see if we're able to uh, continue moving higher. Let's see if we can test the 1855 here. Again, we're trading the YM, the E-mini Dow futures contract, right? Again, we bought this right down in here. And the market has rallied pretty quick. I, I thought it would maybe take a little bit longer, but the thing I want to point out here is, you know, we got hit hard, right? We sold off. We put in this low. Then we sold off a little bit, marginal, right? Made a new low here. Created this inside pattern. And then we consolidated literally for one, two, three, four, five bars, which was beautiful, okay? So the next logical thing to anticipate is for the market to break up. Very short term, we got extremely oversold. And this is what to expect. Not only that, time of day. Look at where the market hit the bottom. 10.15 Eastern Standard Time. And for those of you that have uh, listened to me for quite a while and uh, know how I trade, you know that the morning, right, in between 10.15, right, between 10.15 and 10.45, typically what we see is some type of counter trend move to the overall day's trend up until that point, right? So the overall day's trend up until, you know, hit 10.15 was down, right? So a counter trend move off that time would be up. And so that's, uh, you know, coupled with th the pattern down in here, it was a nice trade, okay? So I need to, I'm going to just exit this and call it a day on the YM for today. Okay, I'm going to sell out. Order filled. And what do we make? So literally this trade was what, six minutes, maybe? Took out $345, small little trade. 
and that's about it so hopefully you can learn a little something from this just just keep in mind when the market opens up take a look at the market in and around 1015 right some days it's like clockwork other days it's not but the market sold off in, in, in between 10 1015 to 1045 right in this time at the time you, you're looking for some type of counter trend move to the trend up until that point if there is a distinguishable trend up until that point okay so have a great day and I will be back with you tomorrow bye for now